Hello and welcome to a new video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some code that I have, a sample code that I wrote uh, for Switch Script 2.0. It basically shows you how you can create a customer deposit. And it's a function. Uh, I don't have a sample uh, for NetSuite to do it. I don't have an account for testing, but this is the code that you can try in your own uh, NetSuite account. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. You pass the sales order ID or the internal ID. Uh, in this case, I'm using a payment type because sometimes the order uh, could be free. So in that case, as you can see, I'm checking for the payment. If the payment is free, that means it's no cost to the customer. Then what I'm doing is just logging, skipping that. So you can do other things, but this is not required to create a customer deposit. This is just idea that I had in case you need to record customer deposits. So once you go in to the code here, we're using the record uh, module and you're loading a sales order. As you can see here, you're passing the sales order ID or internal ID, the type is sales order, and I'm using dynamic equals true, okay? So what I'm gonna use this sales order uh, record you'll see in a minute just to give you an idea what you can do then what I'm doing is from the sales order I'm grabbing the total for that sales order because I'm gonna use that total for the customer deposit and here I'm just logging the total then here I'm getting the date of the sales order so whatever order I have here in this object I want the transaction date because my customer deposit is going to be the same thing. So now if my total, which is the sales order total, is greater than zero, then okay, that makes sense for me to create a customer deposit. And as you can see here, I'm using the record module, creating a customer deposit type, dynamic, and I'm passing some default values, which is here is going to be your customer internal ID. So whatever you have, you need to pass it here. And obviously you can pass it in, in your function here. You could say customer or entity ID and pass it here. Then I'm passing the sales order internal ID because this is gonna be linked to the sales order. And here I have some sample how you can set custom fields. Like I have a department, I got a class and a payment. So that's some numbers that you can type in for your class. That's the internal ID for those. And the payment, well, the payment is gonna be total. The total from the sales order. I wanna match the sales order total with the customer deposit. And in here I have a little switch statement. I'm checking the payment. If it's credit card, then I wanna set this account in NetSuite to whatever I want. If it's PayPal, usually you set it to a different account. That depends on your accounting rules in your company. And finally, I'll set the customer deposit transaction date to the date of the sales order because I want the sales order date and the customer deposit to match. And finally, you say safe, uh, false to the enable sourcing, I don't want to ignore uh, the mandatory fields. And finally, I'm going to log whatever NetSuite will give me as an ID. And that's it. And there's just a try catch uh, statement here. Just writing down the log. And that's it. That's all that you need to create a customer deposit using NetSuite uh, Suite Script 2.0. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to help you. Uh, obviously, you can change uh, logic here, but the main code will help you out when you creating customer deposits okay make sure you subscribe so you can watch the next video uh, keep you informed on NetSuite uh, scripts thank you for watching